So, um, first thing to talk about is I wanted to um, briefly speak about Big Sean's new album, Detroit 2, that I've listened to, um, no pun intended, for the best part of, what, a week so far? Was it a week or something? A week? It's been, yeah, just a weekend. Fucking hell, the days go by so quickly. But yeah, um, pretty decent album, to be fair. Um, all just to get out of the way, I've never really been the biggest Big Sean fan. I don't mind him on features and stuff, but as an album, I've always found his voice to be really whiny um, and just odd, right? I'm not really a fan of, I, I'm I'm a big, I'm a stickler on like following rappers. I'm a big stickler. Yeah, one of my criteria for enjoying a rapper's music or just music in general is the voice and the tone of the artist um, or even just the texture of what they sort of produce. Um, it can turn me on or off and Big Sean just unfortunately has that voice um, that tonality that just really grates me. It's sort of like, you know, um, what, um, fingernails on a chalkboard, just as of my vibe. And I guess part of the reason is because the other side of it too, it's like, you know, he doesn't necessarily, in my opinion, make great albums, right? He tends to make great singles with great, even some of his songs have got great parts in it. You might like the first verse and the chorus, but then the, you know, the outro, the bridge is a bit odd. It just seems to be a little bit clunky in terms of his um, overall song making ability, which is disappointing because technically as a writer, writing his, you know, reading his raps and stuff, right? He's a very proficient at rapping, right? He's absolutely one of the people that you'd, you'd kind of put in a conversation with a Drake, a Kendrick, a Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. He's up there in terms of lyricism, right? You, you can't deny that. But when it just comes to him just speaking and you hearing his tone and how he kind of sounds on certain records, it's just, it just not my vibe whatsoever. But... He has improved over the last few years. It felt like he's kind of taken a bit of reflection, I think, due to some of his other albums being really not critically received well, um, which is a disappointment too, because he has, you know, looking at his at this as well on Wikipedia, like, you know, he's got good music and Def Jam. He has all the co-signs in the industry. Um, everybody seems to like him. He seems to be a pretty decent dude. He's given every key every, access to some of the best producers and rooms and studios all around the all all across all across the world basically or maybe across america and he just always comes up short when it comes to the music and it must be really frustrating for him especially being signed to good music and def jam records right that's essentially you know um that's essentially like you know you've basically made it right when you've got those two labels as your cosigns right good music of course being um founded by uh Kanye West and then you got Def Jam with the whole do you, you got Def Jam like an industry stalwart of a brand right so you would you'd imagine you'd imagine this would be a great platform to make great music but unfortunately it just isn't the case for him but don't get me wrong this is probably my favorite Big Sean project overall front to back I still think it lacks cohesion I still think there's probably some tracks on there that could have been you know uh, omitted but i do understand that he was desperate to give his fans more music because they've not heard from him for a while so you want to just stack the album full of tunes and i actually much prefer artists that do it this way than the whole deluxe thing at the moment i'm getting really bored of it especially because some of the luxes aren't deluxes right it's just two extra tracks or bonus tracks um G gashi did it recently who i'm a big fan of but he put out a really good album, I think 1984, and the deluxe track album now has only two extra tracks on it. So it's like, what's the point of reshooting, not reshooting, but re-uploading an entire album to Spotify just to add two more tracks? I get it. You want to add to the streams, but it's not necessary. So I'd much prefer an artist coming out with a 26, 24 um, track album on the bat, just straight out of the blue, than actually giving me a deluxe album or maybe breaking it up into two and actually having them be thematically two different projects that you can maybe, you know, um that you can maybe release over a set period of time um so going through the track list some of my favorite tracks on the album i would say a standout would obviously be a deep reverence reaching um, nipsey hustle r.i.p um a real shame that that guy is not here no more man hearing his tonality hearing the way he raps and he comes and you know and records is just amazing he has this really weird cadence when he raps that's sort of melodic without even being melodic in a weird way if you even mind if you get what i mean um just and especially on those kind of boom bap you sort of like you know um grimy uh, west coast beats you know something that hip boys sort of synonymous with oh again hip boys um uh thing so not all the tracks are produced by hip boy but i'm assuming he was actually producing it i assumed because it just feels a lot more like a smooth one to whatever how many tracks 
1 to 21 project. It just feels a lot tighter than other Big Sean projects he's put out. And I'm assuming that's because he has one person sort of like overseeing it. And um, this is kind of something I hope he does going forward. Um, Because I think this is probably bring the best out of him. I think Big Sean does need an executive producer or a producer to basically sit down and craft and, you know, um, tighten up the project as good as he is at rapping. I just don't think he has the ability to do that in that regard, which is, you know, it's not it's not a slight because I think there's not a lot of artists out there that can rap as well as him um uh, and be able to kind of you know produce or sequence an album well so it is a rare trait to have but regardless um the other track i enjoyed a lot was obviously wolves with post malone's a really good track but the standout one for me that i've been playing um again and again and again is number five body language featuring ty dollar sign and jenny aiko like god almighty first of all ty dollar signs runs and harmonies in the background like just sensational i really do hope like then we've got this from Ty Dolla Sign, we've got that track Expensive, a few other features he's been on. I'm hoping that the album that's due to come out is really good because Ty Dolla Sign has a real tendency of only dropping really solid projects, right? Um, so really solid um, mixtapes, but then his albums can be a bit lackluster. I'm really hoping whoever's in his camp is taking the time this needed to actually put together a solid album, right? He deserves it. His talent deserves a classic album and he doesn't have that at the moment, but Ty Dolla Sign features are just sensational and Jenny Aiko, man. God damn it, man. Um, maybe it's just me and because, you know, you see them plus all over social media, but the chemistry when they're both on the same track is just palpable. You know, you can really, really feel it. Um, hopefully we get another, what is it? Um, as much as I look at, at the time I didn't really enjoy it, but what's their day? What's their kind of collaborative project they do? Is it 28, 19 or whatever it is? Whatever they did, their kind of collaborative R&B-ish hip hop collab they do i didn't really like it at first but i really listened to it a bit, i think maybe a week ago before the album came out and it's pretty good listen it's got a lot of replay value um so i'm hoping they do a lot more work together going forward i assume they will do anyway but actually project together will be great um the story time by dave Chappelle was really funny right adderall adderall that was awesome that talking taking a piss out of um what's his face um and what else um ztfo send the fuck out was a pretty fun track as well of course respect it found it good i'm not really i don't know how i feel about hearing big sean and young fug but you know i respect the hustle um guard your heart anderson pack and um early mac and wale that was a really nice one wale featured on there really well i think he that was a standout verse from him Again, you don't really get crappy Wale versus, in my opinion, that's it, 2888, that's their debut project. And I mean, their joint project. And then, of course, the Friday Night Cypher was sensational. A lot of, um, you know, um, Sada Baby, you know, who I'm a big fan of. I've been banging out his his stuff when I go to the gym. Um, Cash Doll really smashed it as well. 42 Doug, not really his best verse. Obviously, Eminem towards the end was really amazing. But yeah, overall, a, a pretty decent um, album. I think probably my favorite from big sean easily um, of the last few years again i'm not really a biggest big sean fan but again i'm hoping to see he gets good numbers with this because you know he's but he's going through a lot of stuff personally it feels like so it'll be quite nice to you know end the year with a solid album and you know some good critical acclaim and some good first week numbers because unfortunately he's that guy in it he's signed to two big labels he's a bit industry he needs the numbers to justify the amount of money that probably is put into this sort of album right with the features and the videos coming up and stuff you know he just can't get away with because that was remember the beef that he Tyler kind of had with um Big Sean what kind of when he kind of outsold him and you know this sort of stuff it was more so a kind of an indictment of like see just because you've got industry access and you've got all the links doesn't mean you're going to actually produce a good album right he's about I'm about the music you're about the kind of star sh- the star you know the Hollywood industry side of things so hopefully Big Sean gets a good um return on this and you know it goes down well so that he can kind of build from this because i think you know a happy big sean probably is a better big sean in terms of musical output in my opinion but hey what do i know